by special recording, The Lone Ranger. horse with the speed of light, a cloud of dust, and a hearty Hyo Silver, the Lone Ranger. With his faithful Indian companion, Toto, the daring and resourceful mask rider of the plains led the fight for law and order in the early western United States. Nowhere in the pages of history can one find a greater champion of justice. Return with us now to those thrilling days of yesteryear. From out of the past come the thundering hoofbeats of the great horse, Silver. The Lone Ranger rides again. Come on, Silver. Let's go, big fellow. I'm Silver. Hooray! It was nearly sundown in the town of Fair Play in southern Kansas when Sam Angel finished harnessing a team of bays to his new prairie schooner. Uh, and does it? They're all set to roll as soon as I corral the women folks. You talking to me or to yourself, Sam? Uh, oh, oh, I didn't know you were in the wagon, Em. Uh, I've been here all the afternoon. Well, where's Peg? I sent her to the general store to buy a few things I forgot to pack. Dad ratted you women are always holding things up. Uh, We've got a long trip ahead of us. I want to reach Fort Brazos by sundown Thursday. We've got to get started. <laughs> Don't talk to me about getting started, Sam. Peg and I have been sitting in this wagon waiting to start for over a week. Oh, that's different. I had to wait for the blacksmith to make new trace chains. And the wheelwright took three days to fix the axle. Then you shouldn't mind waiting a few more minutes for your own daughter. But doggone it, Em. Hi there, Mr. Angel. Oh, Sheriff Alder. Oh, howdy, Sheriff. Looks like you folks are all set to head for California. Well, we will be if Peg ever gets back from the store. No, no, Sam. I want to get started pronto. What's your hurry, Sam? There's a lot of lonesome miles between here and Fort Brazos. I want to hit the trail tonight, Sheriff. Why not wait till a wagon train comes through town? Lots of them head west, and they all stop here. Mm, I've waited too long already. You're loco to risk the trip alone. Well, I'm well armed. I can take care of myself and the family. Suit yourself, Sam, but there's no law on the plains to protect you or your property. You're taking a big chance. Oh, well, I'm not worried. We'll get through to Brazos all right. If we ever get started... You stay here, Em. Uh, where are you going, Sam? Uh, to look for Peg. I'll be back as soon as I find her. You want to come with me, Sheriff? Sure thing. As Sam Angel and Sheriff Hap Alder started for the center of town, two riders emerged from the trees behind the Wells Fargo office. One of the men was short and thin. His partner was tall and heavy set. Though their features had not appeared on reward notices, both of them had long criminal records. They were Joe Medler and Smokey Ballard. It was Smokey who signaled a halt. Oh, 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 oh. Think anyone spotted us, Smokey? I told you we wouldn't be seen if we rode through the hills instead of going through town. Steady, boy. Get close to the building and tie your bandana over your face, Joe. Steady. Right. When we're ready to leave the office, we'll come out this way. And we'll come out shooting. That'll keep folks off the street and give us a chance to get away. Yeah, I'm all set. All right. Then let's go. Meanwhile, Sam Angel and the sheriff had reached the center of town. No sign of Peg on the street. The general stores next to the Wells Fargo office, Sam, will probably find her there. I hope so. Ah, oh, there she is, coming from the store. Oh, I see her. Peg! Hey, Peggy! Yeah, didn't Sheriff Alder. Howdy, Miss Peggy. About time, Miss Brown. Hey, what the... Gunfire in the Wells Fargo office. There must be a hold-up. Stay back, Sam. You too, Miss Peggy. I have my six guns. I'm going with you, Sheriff. As Sheriff Alder rushed through the front door of the Wells Fargo office, Joe Medler, standing just inside the rear door, saw him coming. Joe fired. 
The impact of a bullet in his gun arm sent the lawman staggering back. He fell against Sam. By the time Sam eased into the floor and ran to the door, the outlaws had disappeared. Yeah, too late, doggone it. They're gone. Uh, hit me in the arm. Now, take it easy. I'll help. Get after those crooks. We yeah. had horses out back. They're already out of range, hey, Sheriff. Dad, Dad, are you all right? Yeah, but the sheriff's hurt. Oh, I'll get the doctor. Hey, you stay right here to assure there'll be no more gunplay. But the sheriff. Your dad's right, Miss Peggy. Sheriff, are you hurt bad? It's my gun arm, Jim. The crook was at the back door when I came in the front. His partner was already outside. The rat I saw had his face covered. They both had their faces covered, but I heard the short, thin fellow who shot you call his partner Smokey. Smokey, huh? The Smokey was tall and heavy set. Might be Smokey Ballard. I've heard of him. Yeah, so have I. Skunks got away with $10,000 in gold and paper money, Sheriff. I'll start after him as soon as Doc dresses my wound, Hank. I'll get the doctor, Sheriff. Thanks, Jim. Sam, this holdup bears out what I told you and your wife. This is wild country. It'll be risky for you three to travel alone, Sheriff. If cooks like Smokey Ballard can come into a town and rob Wells Fargo right under the nose of the law, we'll be a whole lot safer on the plains. Come on, Peg. We're starting for Fort Nozzle. Sometime later, the Lone Ranger's Indian friend, Tonto, brought his horse to a rearing halt in the masked man's camp, two miles west of Fair Play. Oh, scout, hold my life. Easy, scout, easy, my life. We travel hard, Tonto. That's right. Me get supplies, Kim Asambi. Me get the store just before it closed. Well, what happened in town? Well, the robbery. So that's why you were in a hurry to get back. Ah. Two crooks rob Wells Fargo office. Shoot sheriff. Get away with gold, paper money. Was the sheriff killed? No. Him wounded in gun arm. Color in town say sheriff and two deputies start after crooks as soon as doctor finished bandage on sheriff's arm. Does the law have any idea who the thieves were? One crook named Smokey. Smokey. Ah. Tonto, he might be Smokey Ballard. And that's what sheriff think. Which way was Ballard heading when he left town? West. He follow trail from Wells Fargo office far as dead Indian rock. Mm, that's half a mile from here. Am I right? Easy, steady, big fellow. We go there and take up the trail, Tonto. Huh? Be ready, keep us happy. Come on, fill there. Sheriff Hap Alder and the two men with him made slow progress following the trail of the thieves from town. As they approached Dead Indian Rock, the light of a rising moon sharply illuminated the wounded lawman's frowning features. Following those crooks won't be easy, boys. Well, if the moon's up, we might be able to make better time. Hey, listen. A couple of riders heading down from the hills. Angling down toward the trail. Might be the crook, Sheriff. It can't be unless we're following the wrong trail. We might have made a mistake. Just to be on the safe side, Jim, we'll draw rein and wait for those critters. Oh, 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 oh. Get set for action. I'm ready. Unaware of the lawman waiting near dead Indian rock, the Lone Ranger and Tonto raced down from the hills toward the trail. They saw the waiting riders. At the same moment, the sheriff and his men saw the Lone Ranger's mask. Sheriff Alder shouted, Draw rain, you're covered! Last man in the redskin. Poor owl hoots. Keep him covered, boys. Yeah. If either one of you make a play for your guns, you'll stop lead. Get up there. Come on, boys. Get up. Oh, 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 there. Oh, oh, oh. I'm Sheriff Hap Alder of the town of Fair Play. These men are my deputies. Tonto and I are on your side of the law, Sheriff. You must think I'm a jughead, mister. I would be if I believed that. Hank, keep him covered while Jim disarms him. All right. And we'll take the mask off that fellow's face and see who he is. Under orders from the sheriff, Tonto and the Lone Ranger dismounted. Easy, steady, big fella. Holding his hands at shoulder level, the masked man studied the deputy named Jim, who stepped forward to disarm him. The careless deputy stopped in front of the Lone Ranger. But before he could reach for the masked man's holstered colts, the Lone Ranger drew his gun and shouted, Take him, Silver! The mighty stallion charged the horses of the sheriff and his other deputy. Their startled animals reared in panic, forcing their riders to fight to control them. The Lone Ranger called, All right, Silver, all right! As Silver obeyed the command, the lawmen gained control of their frightened horses. Drop your gun, Sheriff. You too, deputy. Drop all the conniving tricks I ever heard of. I said drop the guns. We'd better drop them, Hank. Oh, all right. There. Say, mister... You remind me of a masked man I once saw who owned a horse as smart as yours. I don't remember meeting you. I didn't meet that masked man, but I saw him in action. You've got the upper hand now, mister. 
But if I ever get the chance... Simmer down, Sheriff. Simmer down with a mask owl who's holding a gun on me? I think he's telling the truth. About what? Being on our side of the law. <laughs> Mister, we're after a crook named Smokey Ballard. So are we. You're after him? He and his partner should have been jailed a long time ago. I want to help put them behind bars. Sheriff, you know how long it took us to follow the tracks this far. Yeah, at the rate we're going, we'll never catch up to him. This engine might be better at reading sign than we are. He's the best man in the country at following a trail. <laughs> We'd be glad to help you. We'll need help to follow them, right, Sheriff? How will I ride with you? That's right. Uh, here comes, Sheriff. Thanks, engine. Here, Hank. Yeah. Tonto. White horse. All right, mister. For the time being, I'll forget your mask. But I hope I'm not wrong in what I'm thinking. Lead the way, engine. Easy, 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 easy. Get him up, scout. Get him through there. As the masked man and Tonto led the way west, the townsman named Hank spoke to the sheriff. Sheriff, years ago, I had a job laying track for Union Pacific. What about it? A masked man and engine helped us fight off a band of hostile redskins. Yeah? I think they're the same one, Sheriff. Mm. This fella's no crook. Fact is, he might be the Lone Ranger. That's what I was thinking, Hank. Oh, get up, get up there. Smokey Ballard and Joe Medler traveled hard until well after midnight. They reached a well-concealed spot in Warbonnet Mountains. After taking the saddles from their horses, they spread blankets on the ground. Yeah, yeah we've covered a lot of ground, Smokey. We haven't made much headway. Can't make good time in these hills. I'm not trying to make time. I wanted to lose any lawmen who might have followed us. We'll head down to the plains in the morning. Good. Then we'll get someplace. <sighs> if we'd headed for the plains from town, we'd have left a trail anyone could have followed. We've wasted a lot of time. Better to lose time than have a posse stop you in your tracks. <sighs> yeah, we'll hit the saddle at daybreak. Early the next morning, the outlaws started down the treacherous rocky mountainside. This trail's for mountain goats, not horses. Give the critters their heads. They'll make it all right. I don't know. My gray's mighty skittish. As Joe spoke, his horse lost its footing. Amid a shower of sliding rocks and soil, the big gray went down. Hey! With a cry of dismay, Joe leaped from the saddle to save himself. Oh, 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 oh. Joe, you all right? Yeah, outside of some cuts and bruises, I reckon I'm all right. I was afraid that could it go down. Yeah, just when we were near the bottom of the slope. We'll be in real trouble if he's hurt too bad to travel. Yeah. Come on, we'll see how he is. Bad news awaited the outlaws at the bottom of the slope. As a result of the fall, the big gray was in no condition to travel. Likely to be lame for a couple of weeks. And what am I going to do in the meantime? He's not fit to ride, Joe. All that dead ratted luck. Caught in the middle of nowhere without a horse. You might as well take the saddle off. Joe put his gear on Smokey's horse. Then the two outlaws looked about hopelessly. Joe saw Sam Angel's wagon in the distance. Hey, look, Smokey. Prairie schooner. We're in luck. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Hey, look ahead, Em. A couple of riders waving to us. Just one rider, honey. One of those fellas is a foot. Something must have happened to his horse. Yeah. We'll stop and see if we can give him a lift. Now, be careful, Sam. It may not be safe to stop. Those fellas are in trouble, Em. But it may be dangerous to try to help them. Oh, oh, there. Oh, oh, oh. Thanks for stopping, mister. My partner and I had some bad luck. What happened? Joe's horse took a fall. He's too lame to travel. Uh, too bad. But where are you heading? West. We'd be uh, downright obliged if you'd give us a lift. Well, sir, I don't like to turn down a fellow in trouble. Come aboard, stranger. Yeah. Yeah, thanks a lot. I'll travel alongside. Come on, get him. No, uh, I'm Sam Angel. Uh, this is my wife and my daughter, Peg. How do you do? My name's Medler, Joe Medler. Glad to know you, Joe. 
Yeah, who's your partner? My partner is Smokey. Uh, what do you mean? Say? Smokey. Dad, a man named Smokey robbed Wells Fargo. I know uh, what. Take it easy, Sam. Oh. Right on our gun. They're crooks. I knew we shouldn't have stopped for them. This forty-five is loaded with sudden death, so don't try a fast move. Oh, hold on, boy. What's the trouble, Joe? These people are too smart, huh? I made the mistake of telling them your name's Smokey. You shot Sheriff Alder. You stole gold and cash from the Wells Fargo office. We never should have left town, Sam. We should have stayed there. Shut up, lady. Oh. What do we do with them? Jai, jag them and leave them here. We'll take their horses and ride on. Why not kill them and be done with them? I'm wanted for a lot of crimes, but murder's not one of them. We'll leave them here. Get ropes and gags on them, then we'll unhitch the horses. By riding most of the night while the outlaws slept, the Lone Ranger, Tonto, the sheriff, and his deputies gained valuable time. When they started down the steep, rocky trail the fugitives had traveled to reach the plains, the pursuers were not far behind Joe and Smokey. At the bottom of the slope, they found Joe's lame horse, and nearby, the prairie schooner. Inside the wagon, they found the prisoners. As soon as they were free, Sam exclaimed... Who we've been robbed, Sheriff. The same critters who stole the Wells Fargo money stopped us. I told you you shouldn't travel alone, Sam. They stole our horses, Sheriff, and the cash and gold we had with us. If I could get my hands on those rats... Their trail will be easy to follow from here. Come on, fellow. Uh, be ready. Be ready. Be ready. We'll bring them back here, Sheriff. Oh, I'm riding with you. My deputies will stay here. Yeah, let's go. Come on, Sam. Get up, Scott. Who's the masked man, Hank? We met him and Tondo at Dead Indian Rock last night, Sam. Well, you've been with us ever since. If Tondo hadn't been reading signs for us, we'd have lost the tracks for sure. Well, I sure hope they find those crooks. Oh, so do I. Yeah, you folks might as well relax. All we can do from now on is wait. Shortly after they left the wagon... Sheriff Alder realized that his bay was no match for the masked man's powerful stallion. Oh, In spite of his best efforts, the mighty white horse pulled ahead. Come on, Silver! The trail the Lone Ranger followed was as easy to read as footprints in wet sand. Within a short time, he sighted Smokey and Joe ahead. Come on, Silver! Faster, big fella! Silver shot hoofs pounded the plains relentlessly, cutting down the distance, separating the Lone Ranger from the outlaws. Go away! Smokey Ballard and Joe turned in the saddle. They saw the masked man, followed by a hard-riding Indian and Sheriff Alder. They're after us. Hit him! As the thieves drew guns to fire, the Lone Ranger's colts roared. Oh, a bullet oh. in the arm nearly threw Joe from the saddle, while Smokey pulled his racing horse to a rearing halt in an effort to fire accurately. Oh, oh. Oh. But the Lone Ranger fired first. A silver bullet shattered Smokey's gun. Oh, oh. I've got him covered, mister. But I'll go after his pal. Come on, The sheriff and Tonto covering Smokey Ballard, the Lone Ranger started after Joe, but the wounded outlaw had lost the will to fight. His gun arm hanging limply at his side, Joe reined his stolen horse to a halt as the masked man came alongside. Oh, hey, ho, oh, hold it, ho! Oh. Let us shoot again, I give us. And turn around and join your partner. When the outlaw's hands were tied and Joe's wound bandaged, the cavalcade returned to the prairie schooner. Well, mister, thanks to you and Tonto, I got my horses back. And we likewise got the Wells Fargo money back. Mister, I'm much obliged to you, too. I'm glad we were able to help you, Sheriff. You and your deputies will have no trouble getting the prisoners back to fair play, will you? None at all, now. Yeah, I'll drive the wagon back to town with you, Sheriff, just to make sure they get there all right. That's a good idea, Sam. And when I get there... I'll follow your advice and wait for the next wagon train heading west. Our mission here is finished with the arrest of these crooks, so adios, Sheriff. So long, and thanks a lot. Hey, goodbye. Goodbye. Come on, Come on, Now I know I'm right, Sheriff. About what, Hank? There's no doubt about it. That masked man's the Lone Ranger. Adios, Sheriff.